let's start a new economic system. This one doesn't work that well for a lot of people, including me. So let's start a new one. It doesn't have to be based on debt. It can be based on credit. It doesn't have to be run by the government. It can be run by us. And it doesn't have to be based on artificial scarcity either. Or it can be. We can have it any way we want it. And start looking at it this way. It's about cooperation. That's where the wealth is. Not in the gun. In the current system, the gun is where the wealth is. I got a gun, and I'm going to enforce my will. That's what we say. Well, we don't have to have the gun ourselves. We, have, The government has the gun. We get government to, to do our dirty work for us. Enforcing our will. It's like, it's my property. You're on my property, and you will give me money, or you will get out. And then the sheriff comes by with the guns and forces you to get out. That's how it works. That's called foreclosure. I am the bank. I own the property. I have the gun, but I don't actually use the gun because I'm such a wimp. I have the government do it. Right? That's how it works. We're not going to do that. We're going to work on cooperation. You get wealthy when you have cooperation. This is a new idea. Actually, it's an old idea, but we're presenting it as a new idea because it's been so forgotten, so denigrated, so put down that cooperation doesn't work, cooperation isn't what you need, you need control and you get control with the gun. So get yourself a gun, get control, yeah that's it. Then you can dominate people and be the king of the hill. <laughs> you could be the top enchilada, the big man, the boss man because you got the guns and you got the money Oh, man, it's such a pathetic system that we're in. Pathetic. It's, it's laughable at one level, but it's pathetic at another. This is the height of human evolution in 2013? We're still playing these power games, these dominance games? I'm in charge here because I have the gun and I have the money, so you do what I say. That's not the way to run the world. Look at what we got. We got pollution everywhere because people are, I'm in charge here. We got Monsanto killing our food supply and killing us. What for? Well, they're in charge. They have the money. They have the patent. They have the guns. Oh, please go away. That system is ridiculous. We need another system. And that includes another system for government. Another system for doing what government is supposed to be doing. It isn't supposed to be running around flashing guns in people's faces and going, you will do as we say because we have the guns. That's not government. Not good government. That's bad government. It's evil government. That's government for domination and control. How about government for managing the resources of the planet intelligently? Let's do that government. Making things work for people. Let's do that government. Making your life better that government. Not the one that's interested in control and domination and property rights. There are no such things as property rights. Anybody who believes in property rights is deluded. You have no property rights. You have a right to food, shelter, clothing, the things you need. But you don't have a right to own them and enforce that ownership at the barrel of a gun. And that's what people mean when they talk about property rights. I have property rights. The government has the gun. I'm going to call the government now, and they will come with their gun, and they will enforce my property rights. And I'm deluded. And I have the right to be deluded. No, you don't. You do not have the right to be deluded. You're deluded if you think you have the right to be deluded. You have the right to live in the truth. And the truth is nobody owns anything here. If they think they do, they're deluded. They're sick in the head. And we need to get them some mental health care. They have a right to mental health care if they think they own something. They need help. They don't need a gun. They don't need government to come by and shoot people for them because they're deluded. They're sick. They're mentally ill. And we need to call it that way. 
We need to create a system whereby we get wealthy through cooperation. We figure out what needs to be done and we cooperate to do it. And then we reap the rewards of doing it. Who's going to give us the rewards? We are going to give us the rewards. Rather than give it to government, rather than give it to the corporations, rather than give it to the bankers, rather than give it to the rich people, we need to start giving the reward to each other. <laughs> That's a form of cooperation. So that when you do the right thing, I reward you. Now, you might say, how's that going to work? You don't have any money, Steve. There are more ways to reward someone than money. I can honor you. I can uplift you. I can hold you up and say, you're a great person. I can recognize you doesn't cost any money to recognize you and when a lot of people recognize you as a good person who's done a good thing you know what I think you are wealthy that is true wealth that's the wealth we've been ignoring because we've been running around with guns going it's my property it's my property I'm gonna shoot you if you don't do what I want yeah, because we've been playing that head trip, we forgot to say, I recognize you for doing something good. You did something good. I recognize you. I honor you. I uplift you. Oh yeah, that's what we need. <laughs> that's the good stuff. That's the good wealth. This running around with guns shooting each other, that's the bad wealth. That's the delusionary wealth. The real wealth is in the recognition of doing good things. That's where we get wealthy. And when we cooperate to reward each other for doing good things. Blessings.